Hello, it's Leanne Peters here. I'm from templeofbalance.com.au, Temple of Balance on Facebook and Temple of Balance on YouTube. And the cat, Miss Puss and I, are here to say hello. We're here to pull some cards for this week uh, from the 20th to the 26th of April is the other cards that I'm looking for this week um, in this particular video. So I trust that you're well, I trust that you're in good flow and um, that you're having a reasonably good day today. Um, so today I'll be using my combined Speed of Light Oracle cards with my Animal Kingdom Oracle cards and I'll be looking for the best cards um, for each individual day this week that's Monday through to Sunday and then one card for the theme for the week as well. Um, I'm not doing personal requests for guidance here today this is general guidance for everyone so I trust that you've been led here for a reason and I trust that something shared will be helpful and supportive for you. So please take on board what feels right, what resonates, what fits into your life easily at this time and let the rest go. So if it doesn't make sense or fit into your life, it doesn't matter. It may be information that someone else needs to hear at this time. I also want to send out an extra special welcome to my Temple of Balance patrons, my Pillar of Light family and all of those of you who support my work through my website. Thank you so much for your support. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause this video and I am going to... Um, change the video to go to my board where I'm putting putting all the cards up and then I'm going to pop back in and talk with you when I'm done. The cat thinks I'm talking to her obviously. Uh, so I will pause the video, I'll be back in just a moment. Okay so here we are, this is my lovely board and I'll be putting cards on this board. So first of all we have to shuffle so I'm shuffling my combined deck and I'm looking for the best card for Monday the 20th of April, Tuesday the 21st of April, Wednesday the 22nd of April, Thursday the 23rd of April, Friday the 24th of April, Saturday the 25th of April and Sunday the 26th of April. I'm also looking for the best card for the theme for this whole week ahead. I also want to send out a happy birthday, happy rebirth day to anybody whose birthday falls this week. I trust you have a wonderful day. So I'm holding the intention to find the best cards for these particular days that are the most helpful for the majority of us. So that might mean that some days don't really resonate with you, but others might. I'd be very surprised if 100% of what I shared really makes sense to you. So, you know, maybe 50% or something you can sort of relate to, that would be great. So the best card cards for the majority of us are these. So I'm going to draw off the top and I'm just going to put the cards up here. So this is Monday the 20th, Tuesday the 21st, Wednesday the 22nd. I've got a good feeling about the 22nd of the fourth month in 2020. We have another nice pattern coming up. <laughs> so this is Friday. Saturday, Sunday, and our theme. Will it be the flamingos again? Ha ha, we will see in just a moment. Why are we so crooked? Let's just go like that. And uh, if we have any featured cards, I'll bring it out a bit. But this is the best card here for Monday the 20th of April. How do I know it's the best card? I've just got to trust that um, I've got to trust in my cards and the way I've picked them. So I trust that this is the best card for the majority of us. Yes, it's card 25, the Earth Dragon. And uh, it says physical reformation. There are five dragon cards in this deck here, the Animal Kingdom Oracle cards. So when we've got combined deck, that means there's five cards out of 110 that I would class as the most powerful cards in the deck. And this is one of them. So the five dragons I class as high vibrational. And this is talking about it being really important on Monday to apply 
some physical reforming or some physical changes or improvements that we want to make in our life or to our body. So this is a very physical card. It's talking about our body. It's talking about our life and the positive changes that we're, we're bringing forth at this time. These can be confronting changes because, as I've been saying the last week or so, there's a lot of confronting energy that's coming up. A lot of us are facing real deep healing and really deep fear and issues that we didn't even know we had because the situation that we're in at this time in the world is bringing up and bubbling up um, old energy to the surface. So there has been great opportunity for healing. And what we might start seeing as a result of all this effort that we've made is this, this really important um, physical body, physical life improvement and reforming. So this is of significance, something changing in our body, something changing in our life in a very positive way, I would say. So this card is Tuesday the 21st of April. Yes, we have card 7, Chakra Activate. It says upgrade, new level, initiation and celebrate. This is about taking something in our life to the next level. So there is a course for celebration on Tuesday and a, a reason or a um, it's almost like the trees have parted the curtains have opened and we are stepping into that new level now. So here we might still be in the middle of change, reforming our life, working out where improvements need to be made. But this is the next level. So this is the upgrade. This is um, that celebrating that we've moved to this next level in our life or with our journey, even with our healing at this time. So there's a great sense of connection that's coming in on Tuesday, and there is something to celebrate. So what can you celebrate? And it might not be what we used to celebrate. Maybe you celebrating today is that you feel okay, that you have a roof over your head. Maybe you're celebrating um, something that you would usually take for granted. So this may be in the scope of what this celebration or upgrade is. So it would just depend on what we're going through individually. Now, Wednesday, I'm very excited to see this card. So the 22nd of April, 2020. So we've got 22422. Two, two, and I like the feeling of this number and this day. So I feel that, um, oh, we've got card 39, then Nautilus. It says break negative patterns and avoid going back to them. So we're going into a deep healing day on Wednesday. This is again reminding us to break down that shell we've been hiding behind um, and be careful we're not uh, living from a very negative mindset at this time, especially Wednesday. So it's an opportunity on Wednesday for us to break negative patterns, our um, negative attitude, our negative mood and uh, start shifting into a more positive direction and we've got great support backing that up Monday and Tuesday so this backing up and this high vibrational energy this really positive energy that's coming through is going to probably back up this energy potentially coming through for Wednesday and really help us propel ourselves out of negative patterns the first step, though, is to recognize that we are being negative, that we are thinking, talking or acting in negative ways. So once we're aware of that, then we know what then we've got a better idea of what we need to do to break those negative patterns and turn the negative into the positive. Now, this is Thursday, Thursday, the 23rd, and we've got card 47 persistence. Can you see that? It looks very glary. It's card 47, Persistence, and it says Patience, Solution, Question, Answer, and Tonight. We've been encouraged on Thursday not to give up, especially not to give up on our dreams. Our dreams may be changing a bit. They may be changing a lot, and we don't know if we're even going to be able to manifest our dreams in the future, but it's not about giving up on our dream. We can let it morph into something better, as our days unfold, but let's not give up. Thursday is not the time to give up. It's about being persistent, it's about being patient, and it's about following through. So some of us may feel we want to give up. We may feel that we've had enough of this on Thursday, 
but we're just being encouraged to be a bit more patient and be persistent. And if we have that negative attitude where we do want to give up and we just can't deal with this right now, then we may want to revert back to this energy, even if it's a different day, to break negative patterns and start replacing them with a more positive attitude. A more positive attitude that's solution-based. I will get through this. And I will find a solution for this problem, even if I don't know what the solution is yet. There's a positive attitude potentially coming in for Thursday. That's if we take the steps to break the negative patterns. If we're still overflowing that in, we may find a bit of negativity coming into Thursday too. So this is Friday the 24th of April and we've got Sacred Haven card 5 and it says Gratitude Connect reflect and stand still this is about stopping and counting our blessings on friday there is so much we can be grateful for and that we can appreciate from the very simplest things from being alive and breathing right now to having a roof over our head food on the table clothes on our back a bed to sleep in we may have a job that we're going to. We may be in reasonably good health. There is a lot of things that we can appreciate and we've been encouraged on Friday to notice those things, to really appreciate the small and simple things that we previously maybe took for granted. So that's Friday. Now Saturday the 25th, oh, we have card 53 called Gathering and it says Helping ready leader and meeting this is about the gathering together of like-minded people so obviously we're not really socializing in the physical at this time but this may be a different form of gathering so there's a gathering a meeting of some sort and it's usually with there's usually two or more people this is usually a, a gathering of some um, significance of you know it's usually more than three people at least so it's a group and the group is gathering and there is something here on Saturday that's reminding us or encouraging us to step into our role as a leader. And it doesn't mean, um, you know, being the boss of others or what have you, unless that's our calling. This is about leading the way for ourselves in our life to stop being the sheep and following others, but actually start leading the way to step up into our life to that next level. Uh, which is interesting having the next level card just uh, above this card. So a lot of our lives, a lot of us are being called to take our life to the next level. And a big part of that, which will likely reveal itself towards the weekend, is about us leading the way in our life. Is us being our best counsel, being our best mentor, our best supporter, the best leader that we could be in our life. And it doesn't matter if anyone follows us or not. It's not about the numbers. It's not about the followers. It's not about standing on a stage and stroking our ego. This is about us really getting into our life further. Now, someday, that's someday the 26th of April, or oh, we have card 29, the Sea Eagle Reconnection. And this is about soaring to new heights, but it's especially about reconnecting with the things that are important to us. And this is especially on a spiritual level. So those spiritual practices and the spiritual things that we love to do, maybe we haven't done them so much lately. Maybe our church group or our meditation group or the things that we feel connected with, maybe they're not happening right now. So maybe we're needing to reconnect in new ways. So there's a plugging in feeling potentially here for Sunday and a deeper, higher sense of balance. So overall, we've got actually quite a positive week coming in. There might be a bit of negativity around midweek around these days, but this is very uplifting. Uh, these are very uplifting. These are maybe a challenge. And then um, this sort of settling into this gratitude and reclaiming our power and this reconnection feeling. So actually quite positive energy this week. Our theme card's going to help bring these days together and help us see the bigger picture. Oh, we broke the pattern of the flamingos. Instead, we have card 41, the doe. And the doe says to feel deeply this week. So we've been encouraged to slip into our feelings. It also may mean that we're a bit sensitive this week. We may feel a bit raw, a bit vulnerable, a bit exposed. 
you know, when we're in that sort of vulnerable state. And that's not a bad thing. This can be very revealing and it helps us be able to feel our way forward. We've been encouraged to really listen this week and really pay attention, especially to how we feel. So very exciting. Okay, it looks like we're in for a reasonably stable week. It depends really how much you're letting yourself feel your way through. If you're very much in your head space and in a negative head space, then your feelings may sort of get pulled into that negative thinking snare, if you like, or the tentacles of your negative thoughts. So I feel to help us really keep our negative thoughts at bay this week, we're being encouraged to feel our way forward, feel our way through this week, remembering that feelings just want to move, they want to be in motion. So let's feel from one feeling to the next. We might have a great feeling, then feel a lower feeling. Let's flow with it because feelings are always going to move to a new feeling. If we get stuck in a feeling, then we're holding on to something which is making us feel stuck or stagnant on a feeling level, or we might be overthinking something. So let's make sure we're in our feelings this week and we're flowing with them as best as we can. And we may have moments where we feel sensitive and raw and vulnerable. And this is okay. This is okay. So let's allow ourselves. It takes a lot of strength to let ourselves feel vulnerable. It really does. So let yourself feel the full spectrum of feelings that you may access this week. Um, work with that powerful energy that's coming through. Find your gratitude. Stay optimistic. Stay persistent and patient. Um, and do what you need to do, uh, what feels right in regards to your reconnection. So thank you so much for connecting today. I trust this resonates with you and supports you at this time. Don't forget to come back to this resource throughout the week. Um, if you've enjoyed the video, please hit the thumbs up button. Please show us some love. Please comment or share if you're inspired to. And if you want to connect more privately, please send us a message through our website. So today I've used my Speed of Light Oracle cards combined with my Animal Kingdom Oracle cards. If you'd love to learn more about um, either of these decks, you can on my website. Please go to templeofbalance.com.au. Thank you. So what have we got happening this week? Um... I've got lots of private uh, healing sessions and art sessions. In fact, on the art session note, which I opened last week, um, I'm very excited to be offering one-on-one -on -one art sessions through video, through Zoom. Um, so you can do a one-off art session. We can work together. I've got a, pro a package of six sessions. And um, whether you're a beginner or an advanced or... Uh, whether you want to learn how to create in a new way, use it for art therapy. Maybe you've got a project in your mind that you'd love to be able to bring into form, but you don't know how. Maybe I could help you with that. So have a look at my art, art sessions, online art sessions. They're only going to be available to the 1st of September. I'm not going to be able to offer these forever because... Uh, once we get back into a normal sort of once life opens again and we can get out into the into our communities and things I won't have time to do these art sessions so they're only available for about the next five months during our winter so if you want to take advantage of that please have a look on my website um, I've got I'm working on some ceramics at the moment my wizards so they, I should have them out, hopefully, depends how I go making, maybe the end of May, early June, we should have those finished. So uh, keep your eye on the creation process of my ceramic, my garden wizards over on my Facebook page, Leanne Peters, artist. Um, you can start up to date there. Uh, what else have we got going on? I've got a couple of healing events next week, so I'll talk about those then. And I will pop in throughout the week this week. I took a break from social media Friday and Saturday, and I wasn't feeling the best Sunday, so I just had a break from videos. But I should be bringing more in and more to you this week. And there will be a drawing video too at some stage later in the week. So I look forward to connecting with you as the week progresses. Have a great week ahead and a great rest of your day. And thank you so much for joining me. Um, yeah, I'll see you again soon. So sending you loads of love from my heart to yours. Namaste.